I found a bunch of these keychains online that have messages like pull to eject, insert before flight, remove before flight. And I thought, wow, that'd be a really good idea to add that to one of these 5.5 millimeter barrel jacks and use it as a switch. And so that's exactly what I did for this little just demonstrative project. This obviously doesn't do anything functional. It's just a, an ESP on the inside where the VIN switch is wired up in series with the switch on this barrel jack. It's also reusable. If I put this back in there, it'll stop. And the way these works, here's those barrel jacks. I'm gonna orient it so that I'm looking down where you would plug it in. And I have this tab on the bottom and I'll kind of just describe how this works. When nothing is plugged in, the bottom and the right prongs are connected. When you plug in the barrel jack, it disconnects the bottom and the right prong. So what a lot of people will do with these is you'll have the bottom connected to your battery ground and then the right is connected to the ground of your circuit. The right is also connected to the outside of the barrel jack that plugs into it. So if you plug something in, like if you're using a wall adapter and you wanna get you know five or 12 volt power in here or something, that will be the ground of that pin. On the left pin, I connect my battery's positive terminal and that will also connect to the inside pin of the barrel jack that gets plugged in. You don't have to worry about it negatively affecting your battery because when you plug it in, it will disconnect this bottom prong. So your battery will not have a closed circuit to be affected by the power that's running through this jack. I'm obviously not doing that with this one. On this one, all I have is the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the bottom pin of the barrel jack. And then the right pin of the barrel jack is connected to the ground of the ESP8266 that's inside this box. So then when I disconnect this barrel jack, what happens is the bottom and the right pins are now connected of that barrel jack and the circuit is complete. So I'll include in the description of this video somewhere links to these three tags that I found as well as these switching barrel jacks that I used in case you wanna do the same thing. Super quick video today. I just kinda of thought this was a cool idea and I wanted to tell you about it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.